Hello and welcome. I'm Frederick Mellon, aka Mr. Mel. Today I'm gonna highlight a problem which uh, isn't really a VBAR problem if you know me from the VBAR series of videos, but the thing is the people that has VBARs look in the log and see this problem and from that I can quite simple the fact that there is quite a few people out there that probably have this problem not knowing it or it might be that you that blew up a speed controller regardless of brand have this problem and that is the real cause because if you have this problem it can blow up your speed controller over and over again because what happens is uh, I want to check if I have an insulation breach in my motor. It's very, very simple. I'm gonna show you. You need a uh, DVM voltmeter set for uh, ohm reading or continuity check, but I have ohm reading here, so I get a re reading if I, if I cross this. Do note, do not touch the probes when you do the measuring because your own body has resistance so do not do that but you want to measure from the motor shaft to each connector when you don't have the ESC connected and you see here I have a reading you should have no reading I have a reading and no reading oh. reading so because of this, when I start this motor, it's actually going to short out very fast. It's going to give you very much interference. If you have a V-bar, it's going to complain on lots of sensor checks and error. But if you do not have, it might give you glitches. It might give you burning speed controllers and such things. So why is this? This is a brand new motor. Why, why is this problem? Well, it's very simple. I used a one millimeter too long screw. That's everything. So I unscrew that motor screw there. And I actually using the same length on both, but this one had the coils a little bit closer. Uh, so it hit. So if I do the measuring now, no reading. No reading. And Again, no reading. So now this motor is good. That little screw, that millimeter of a screw could cost you a $500 speed controller. So little, so simple, so hard to find. Uh, best thing, disconnect the speed controller, do the test. I do it when I mount a new motor because I've made this mistake myself uh, more than once actually. You, you just tighten the motor screw a little bit more and then it hit the, hits the coil. It could even be that when you're measuring on the bench it doesn't register but then the temperature of the motor change and that changes the, the tension a little bit and then you get insulation breach. So use the screws that are perfect length. They should not go inside the motor more, more than necessary.